Back inside the Rock Arena, Dan Levine with you as UMBC and Hartford get set for some America East women's basketball action. And now on the wing, 13 to shoot, McCarley being played by Harrison, now pulls up the jumper and it's good. Taylor McCarley for Harrison. Working on Harrison, a couple dribbles, spins, runs into a double team, now trying to kick the ball out, finds a cutting Laura Estaba who goes baseline, gets around Darby Lee and finishes with the layup. Taylor, screen from Wilson, doesn't use it, pulls up for the jumper, that's good. Taylor McCarley coming off a 30 point performance, knocks down her second jumper of the game. It's a five point lead for you. Four to shoot, screen from Hageman, Russo's three is good. Emily Russo knocks down the three, and it's an 18-10 retriever lead. Backing her down now with five to shoot. Screen from Pandora Wilson. Taylor, one on with Harrison. What a crossover, and then finds Hageman. Great pass from Taylor McCarley. What a playmaking move. Now Hartford the other direction there. Full court heat is no good, and that's the way the first quarter went. Inbounding for Hartford. Bad pass stolen away by Taylor McCarley. McCarley racing to the basket. And she gets there, beating her man, Douglas. Layup is good as Taylor McCarley with active hands on the inbound pass. Lee gets the ball, is guarded by Skinner, and the Hawks back. Now they're gonna, looks like a 2-1-2 two -two zone as Pandora Wilson knocks down the jumper. Who the retrievers get the ball to here with three seconds to shoot. Garner will inbound. McCarley, they get it to her on the wing. One to shoot. Taylor's got to put it up for three. It's good! Taylor McCurry beats the buzzer. No good. Costado trying to get the board. Can't do it. Bounces around a couple times, and then McCarley comes up with it. McCarley racing up the floor. is going to challenge Abed. Scoop layup is good as McCarley does a nice job of shielding the ball with her body. And then with the left hand, scoops the layup in off Abed. Stern and for the retrievers, they've been waiting to shoot the ball to about 10 seconds on the shot clock anyways. Oh, nice pass. Hageman to Pandora Wilson. Gets right around the defender. Easy lay-in for Pandora. And credit Amanda Hageman with the assist. The wing. Feeds it to Pandora Wilson. Had Hageman wide open. Instead, he'll turn, take the turnaround jumper. Misses, but Hageman right there on the offensive glass. And Amanda Hageman's got 10 points. Her first. Rebounding well offensively is Pandora Wilson. A step back three is good. Pandora Wilson. The step back three pointer, and she is in double digits. She's got 12, and the Retrievers have a nine point lead. Pandora Wilson double teamed. To McCarley, who drives into the paint. Foul, and one. McCarley felt the contact, immediately went up, and bang. Wilson, turnaround jump shot from the free throw line, way off. Hageman with the rebound and puts it in. Amanda Hageman working on the offensive glass, and she's got 12 points. Skinner, bad pass, McCauley read it all the way. Two on one, Taylor tripped up briefly, but she's gonna pull it back out to try to kill some time. McCarley walking a fine line near the half court line. Pandora Wilson now has it, as the Hawks, the whole team is swimming to the ball every time somebody touches it. McCarley finally fouled. Five on the clock, UMBC. A big home win against the Hartford Hawks. They tie Hartford in the standings for fourth place in the conference, and they move closer to Stony Brook in third. Walter Sounds, and this is your final. 58-51, the Retrievers defeat the Hartford Hawks. A seven-point big home victory.